Hello. Oh, hi, Michael. You're the first person I saw when I popped on. Hello. Sorry, Emma and I were talking, so I'm just a tad bit late. Lower us down. Okay. Hello. Hi, Fatbird Finds. Okay. Hi, Michelle from Newton's Cupboard. Rachel. Well, welcome, my friends. Welcome and happy Wednesday to my live vintage sale here on my YouTube channel. I have 60 things over here to sell today. And the way that this works is I will hold up an item. It will have a number on it. If you want that item, then you are the first person to claim that item in the chat will be the winner of that item. And all you will need to do is send me an email thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your YouTube name, your actual name, your PayPal email, and your shipping address. I'll need all of those things um, in order to get you your invoice. Hi, California Thrifter, otherwise known as Maria. Hello, I hope you guys are all doing good. You decided to make every customer listen to this live sale. I'm in stereo! Oh, sorry, I was probably really loud just now. Hello, everybody in Michael Land. Hi, Tidbits and Trinkets. Hi, Joan. Hi, Mama J. All right, I am, like I said, I've got 60 things. There's a lot of smalls today. Hi, Kelly. A lot of smalls today because, you know, I'm going on vacation next week, so there will not be a sale next week. Oh, I know. It hurts me. It hurts me. I, 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 I'm taking a vacation. We're going up to a um, lake house up in northern Indiana. And we're, we were in a boat, so we're just going to take some relaxing time off. But I am going to be, I'm, I'm trying to work on some videos, so I will be putting out some videos. And I think one day next week, I'm not sure when, but I'm going to go live. Maybe Emma will join me. And also, Emma's getting ready to go back to school. Maybe. Don't say maybe. We are going back to school. Because. Keep that in your mind. So anyway, it, it's it's a different world that we're living in. But we're, we're going to be positive. We're going to be happy today. We're not going to think about any bad thoughts. Okay. Oh, before I get started, I wanted to say that I have a winner of the junk journal starter kit that was so kindly given by Kathy, otherwise known as Water Baby. So the winner it was number nine on last week's live sale video. And that person is Lena McCord. And it just so happens, Lena and I went to high school together. So that's a small world. So Lena, make sure that you message me and I will get this. I have your address because I think you bought some things for me before. So I will get that sent out to you. Hi, Laura. Laura Laura says she's going to miss her future daughter-in-law. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I don't want her to go. I want her to live upstairs in the apartment. And then my dad can live in her room because the stairs are getting too much. Then she could just go to online classes, right? No. She's giving me a dirty look. Listen, I don't blame her for wanting to go back, but I like having her here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've got some good things here. I do. And I also have been working all morning. I will be putting up a video on Friday of eBay auctions. So I've got some more things. I'm going to be working on that video. That video will be up on Friday. So those auctions will start on Friday night and they will end next Saturday. So that way I will have some things kind of in the works that you can still be able to purchase, even though there won't be a auction i've got a spot on my phone that i've got to get out because it's right there in the middle of my forehead okay let's get going the first thing i'm going to show is this beautiful little flow blue handleless um coffee mug there's no handle on this now i try to figure out what pattern this was the the maker's mark is very it's pretty much gone there isn't any cracks. There is one small glazing flaw. Let me hide the tag. One small glazing flaw right there, but that's it. Isn't it beautiful? I love how 
the design goes all the way on the inside of it as well. So it's a beautiful flow blue piece. Um, it's probably around the 1850s is what I'm going to say. Uh, probably made by, I wrote it down, um, Podmore and Walker. But I couldn't find the maker's mark or the, the pattern name. So it's a very pretty piece. It would be really pretty if you put a battery op operated candle in there. But this little piece is $15 and it is number 59. $15, number 59 for the Flow Blue Handleless Coffee Mug. Hi, Katie. Sheila? Sheila Putman. Handleless cups are like fine hen's teeth. Is that a good thing, Randy? Or Ricky? I've never heard that expression. I've never heard that expression. It's very pretty. I love Flow Blue. Um, all right. Next, let's... Now, I had this little enamel cup in my tiered tray for spring. And then I thought, you know, sometimes when I'm... I'll get something and I'll put it in, in at my home and then just for the season. And then I'm like, okay... We're gonna sell it now. Oh, very hard to find. Okay, well, good deal then. Uh, I, we don't find Flow Blue hardly ever in these parts, so I was pretty excited to find it. So this has had like a, almost like an airbrushed uh, stenciled on this enamel. It is made in Yugoslavia. It is metal, it's just a little piece of enamel where there's a little bit of orange. It's still, it looks like it's spray painted to me. Really kind of funky mod flowers, but I had it in a tear tray with um, a little faux succulent in it. This is five dollars, and it is number fifty-five. Five dollars, number fifty-five. It's in really good condition too. You know, enamel wear does have some of the the wear around it, which I like. It gives it character. But five dollars, number fifty-five. I have Michelle. Michelle, treat yourself, Vintage Finds. Whenever I see your name, I want to do that. Treat yourself, Vintage Finds. All right. Now what? How about a... Oh, well, crud. I'm going to change the price on this because I didn't know, realize until just now that it had a little boo-boo. But it is a swan. Turn the price around. It's a chalkware swan. Kind of an ivory color with some gold accents. But I just noticed that it has a little tip up here that is broken off. You can't really tell it when if you're hanging it up for display. But it is also missing the little metal. I don't know, honestly don't know if it ever had. Maybe it was right there, but that'd be a weird spot to have it. The little metal hook. But you could probably hang it if you're like me and something has a hole in it. You can put a nail in there. And just so it sits, just so, so it doesn't, you know, do this and this. But I, whenever I see chalkware, I buy it. And I didn't realize that it had like the little cat's tail part was missing. Um, so I'm going to mark this to $6. I had it at $8, but it's $6, number 23. $6, number 23. There's like little lily pads down there. Probably came, originally came in a set, but that's the only one that I found. I have tidbits and trinkets. Tidbits and trinkets. Pink drink, anybody else? You know what we should make a thing on Wednesdays? If you're out at Starbucks, go get you a pink drink. On Wednesdays, we drink pink. On Wednesdays, we drink pink. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Michelle Comfy Cozy did not like them, though. She said they're too sweet. They're all sugar. It's all sugar. It's all good. All right. How about little Mr. and Mrs. Fancy Pants? These are little made in Japan, really fun, yellow, and they've got their eyes closed. They don't really want to see each other. She looks like little Miss Snooty Pants. Hi, Barb. You didn't miss much. Little Miss Snooty Pants, and they both have the little hands out there. Made in Japan. Their heads have not been reattached. So they still have their original heads and their original hands and arms. They've not been re-glued back on. Even the little flowers around the bottom are all 
No, this one's got a little petal missing. Right down there. You see that? But little Mr. and Mrs. Fancy Pants, the petal on her hat is still intact. But you get the both of these for $8, and they are number 11. $8, number 11 for Mr. and Mrs. Fancy Pants in yellow. Now, the pink drink is strawberry lemonade, basically. You can get it with... Pink drink is with coconut milk. Well, that's what I was going to say. You can get it with coconut don't milk. Don't say pink drink. It's okay. a strawberry refresher. It's a strawberry, drink. it's a strawberry refresher. <laughs> a pink drink has the milk in it. I like them both. They're both pink. I call them, well, this one's, I just call them both pink drink. But this is a strawberry refresher. They both still have caffeine in them. I didn't get a number 11. Nobody wanted number 11. Sorry, kids. You'll save you for another day. All right. Maybe I'll show them again later. Or usually what I'll do is I'll show them on Instagram. Okay. Now let's do some redware. I've got two little redware. Oh, Maria. Maria, California thrifter Maria. wants number 11. All right. I'll set them aside for you. Okay, these are bunnies. I think that that was the consensus when I did a haul on these. Sorry, kid. You've got the tag wrapped around your neck. Bunnies, right? You all think that these are bunnies? Look at their eyes. Whew. And this one, like, I don't, like, this one's mouth is open, and I can't tell what's going on. If that's his mouth or if that's a flower or what the deal is. But they are red wear. Um, they both have their corks. They both, they're salt and pepper shakers. And they are in excellent condition. All of the, the paint is still on there really pretty well. Ooh, a French Bulldog. Possibly. Possibly. They are $8 for the set, and they are number three. I know that Corey, the thrifted artist, likes these little animal redware Bellas. Oh boy, it's really blurry. <clears throat> um, Jared Elkins. Jared Elkins. Hey y'all, let me know. Is it blurry? Should I turn the Wi-Fi off? Are we gonna play that game again today? Because oh, I don't want it to be blurry, because that's that's no good because then you can't see it. It's blurry. Let's try it. Well, because I turned it off. Is that better? It's very, it's really clear now. It's really clear now. I'm so glad that we paid all this money for this extra Wi-Fi crap that doesn't work. We should just cancel it. We should just say, take it back. Give us our money back. Okay. Is that better? Is everyone saying, because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing comments now. Okay, it's better, but y'all can't see comments now. You can't see comments. They can see comments. Emma will have to let me know if you're asking a question. And maybe this will make it go faster if I can't yeah, see. Yeah, I love this idea. If I can't see comments, then I won't get distracted. You would think. Okay, so Emma will let me know if you have a comment because I can't see any of the comments. So, okay, let's do a little piece of... Um, advertisement this is a now you know i like this stuff but you guys might think it's silly but it is lock ease uh graphite lock fluid protects against sticking rocks rust and freezing i liked it because i had a key on it and i like the colors i like the contrast between the white and the blue and the yellow it does not have a barcode on it anywhere so that does show its age it was made in, where were you made? Michigan, Muskegon, Michigan, from the American Grease Stick Company. Well, that's a name. American Grease Stick Company. But just a cute little nugget of a tin. It just, it just I don't know, I just like these. This is $6, and it is number four. 
Six dollars, number four. Let me stick this tag back on. So Emma, you're gonna have to let me know if someone says something that I need to know about because I can't. Well, Sabrina see. says she likes your shirt. Oh, thanks. Um, this was from Buckeye Charm, I believe, on Etsy. Um, vintage and vinyl. Ooh, Katie. I like that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do a linen, and I think it's gonna be kind of popular because it's super cute and everybody likes deer. It is a dresser <laughs> scarf. And it is, let me hide the tag, of a little deer. Now the deer is on each side. You can see the cloud. Yeah, there is a cloud in the sky. So here is this side. It's the same. Fatbird Hello, Hello Fatbird Finds. I can't see the chat and it's making me crazy. But it is on a piece of linen. There is the link. Well, the whole thing. It's nice embroidered with a little deer on there. It's so cute. I hate to say this again, but it's uh, blurry. It's blurry. Maybe I got too close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it is it better? It, I don't know. Is it better? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, you let, let me know if it's blurry again. I probably got too close to the camera. This is $12 and it is number 51. $12, number 51 for the really adorable deer table scarf. Uh, Sabrina Rezor. Sabrina Rezor. Swans. Who likes swans? I think that these are adorable. I these I got from a thrift store that before Everyone's saying blurry. Who? Everyone's saying blurry to you. Please leave. But I don't I don't know which is better. Shut up pretty bad. What is the deal? You know you go on Instagram and it's nice and clear. I'm considering doing Instagram. Okay, not today, but okay. Let me turn the Wi-Fi back on. Give it a minute. The Wi-Fi is now back on. I can't just stand in one spot. That isn't going to happen with me. That's not the way that my I work. Can I see the comments now? I still can't see the comments. It's worse? Because you unplugged it. Is it good? Now it's better though. As soon as I unplug that thing, I can see you crystal clear. It, can you see me crystal clear now? We unplugged the stupid thing. I'm going to throw that thing outside and let someone run over with it in a car because... It's better now. It's better. It's over there. Okay, much better. Clear. And I can't, still can't see the comments, so... I can see them. It's better now. Trust me. It looks better. Is it crystal clear? It's pretty close. Okay. So, swans. Sorry. It's like every week there's some kind of technical difficulty. It's this thing. It's this thing. I hate that thing. I hate you thing. It's some Comcast thing. Okay, so swans. Cute little swans with little yellow accents. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Go on. Should I turn the Wi-Fi off? I don't know. I'm turning it off. <laughs> it's bad. I'm going to refresh. Don't mind us. We're just flipping out a little bit. Y'all want to refresh? Go get a drink. Flip Comcast the bird. Whatever. Is it better, Emma? I mean, it's not buffering, so yeah, I'd say it's better. But it's blurry. So. I don't want it to be blurry. Because then people can't. Move your camera away. Where it should be. Better, but then people I can't people can't see these things really up close. I'm gonna have to show them up closer. I don't know what to do, mom. It's just bad. 
TV's on. Oh, turn the TV off. Again, God, I, look, we, we're people are dropping like flies because this is ridiculous. You need to tell Papa <laughs> he turns off. We need to turn off all cable devices. Better? Um, blurry. A little better. Blurry. Blurry. And I can't, I still can't see the comments, so I have no idea. Like, according to my phone, it's fine, but I'm, you know, it's a lot different. Is it still pixelated? No, it's really blurry. Someone said no, not good. Thanks. Don't mess with it. Can you turn on Xfinity Wi Fi? Um, I don't know. I just turned on Wi Fi again. We'll try the Wi Fi again yeah. since uh, the TV. Much better. Can you not see comments anymore? No, I can't see any comments. It's making me crazy. Better. But you're also not moving, so you're good. Okay, keep going. We'll see what happens. Okay, well. Swans. Swans. Yellow swans. You get the pair of them. There aren't any damage. They both say made in Japan. Little gold trim around the leaves. You get the pair of them for $8, and they are number 18. Number 18, the little delicate schwans. I don't know if they were, I don't think that they were ashtrays because they don't have like a little divot. I think that they were just like little nut, little nut cups where you could use them for rings. Okay, tidbits and trinkets. Tidbits and trinkets, you're a trooper. All right, let's do a brooch. I have a couple brooches. This one is really pretty and sparkly. Um... Oh, do you have a name? I don't, it might have, it. you know, this may be a million dollars. I don't know, because I can barely see a name. But it's this cute little owl. He's very sparkly. He is in a gold bezel. He has a lobster claw um, clasp. There is a name in there, I think. So, he's very fancy. He is $12, and he is number 32. $12, number 32. Well, I mean, you could make him be on a chain, but he doesn't have a, you know, like a hook on him where you could put him on a chain. I have EAB9204. EAB9204. Two o four. Get it? I did it. All right. How about some corbels? Now these are rec it's a piece of reclaimed or salvaged architecture. They're these small little corbels. People use them in displays. Um, you could also uh, make them into well, you could, but you could turn them into a shelf rack. But then you'd have to paint them, and I kind of like the chippy paint. But two little corbels, they're wood on one side. They're just small, small little corbels. I love this stuff. Um, I just like that it was probably, probably, these were probably a part of a piece of furniture, I would assume, or maybe parts of a trim on a house. They are $16 for the set, and they are number 44. Michael said a boomerang. Ooh, boomerang. Well, <laughs> you could throw it at somebody it won't come back to you but you know it probably would hurt somebody if you really wanted to hurt somebody you know you'd have to aim it just so but little wooden corbels $16 number 44 I have Mama J Mama J all right this was a pretty popular thing after I after my video yesterday um it is it kind of looks like to me it looks like huckleberry thin but he's just this little hanging planter. I have him upside down or backwards. He 
at one time had a fishing pole right there, but you could probably easily make a new one with a dowel rod and some little fishing line. But he's so cute. He's got a little patch on his behind. He doesn't have any flaws. He's just a little bit, a little dirty. I need to clean him up a little bit. But he does have his chain. And I don't know what you'd put in his head, what you'd want growing out of his head, but, oh, your face is dirty, boy. Look at the little dog wanting the fish. This is $18, and it is number 53. Oh, your little feet are dirty, too. You need a bath. I will clean him up. Ooh, his little toes. He's in great condition. Very unusual. I've never seen one like this before. I have Christy Garza. Christy Garza. This was something else. Is it still, is it clear? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's not the clear film, but it's not that. Makes me so mad. All right, this was also pretty popular um, when I did a haul on it, and it's this beautiful tablecloth. It's got, I don't know if those are dogwood flowers. I don't quite know. But it, it's gray and white checked. It is probably like a, a little bit bigger than a card table size. Like if you put it, it is square. It is square. If you put it on a card table, it will hang over a little bit. It does have a few coffee stains on it or tea stains. No holes anywhere. I did wash it, but I did not treat it. So it's been freshly laundered, but not treated. And where is the tag? It's down here. Really cool linen tablecloth. It is $18 and it's number 55. $18, number 55 for the linen tablecloth. Yes. Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy, you won the tablecloth. All right, I've got a little piece of restaurant wear, a little personal creamer. These. Wait, you said 55? Yeah. Do you not? Tablecloth? Number 55. No. Hmm. Well, I'll let you figure that out. Well, what do you have as 55? It's something else. Hmm. I have the enamel mug. No, well, the enamel mug is number 55. Oh, really? <laughs> just add, just add gray, white tablecloth. $18. Don't mind us. So this is a little personal creamer, little restaurant wear. It's got the green stripe on the top and around the middle. You know, you can use these as a little personal creamer if you want to, but it, to me, I'd use it for a little air plant, which is just my thing right now. I love these. They do look really good. In a Hello, I'm back. I connected to a different Wi-Fi. Oh, you know what? I'm seeing comments now. And now there's only 44 people because everybody left. <laughs> It's crystal clear, though. <laughs> That's funny. I want to pay for this one. I can get free Wi Fi. Right. So, listen. I switched over from the Wi Fi that we pay that for, we pay for to the free Wi Fi. What sense does that make? I hate Comcast. It's so clear, though. <laughs> it's so clear. Okay. You can see comments? I can see comments. I can see your comments. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started again. So the little personal creamer. Someone's wanting you to check number 55 to see who won. Okay, here we go. The little personal creamer. It is... Barb Murphy 155. It is $6 and it is number two. 
Number two, I'm honestly, I'm think, but here's the thing, you can try a call Comcast and you'll be on hold for hours, for hours. So $6, number two. Are you seeing who won number two? Pay attention, Emma. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley. So hopefully we won't have any more problems. You are super clear now and I can see your comments. So that's even better. Okay, piece of chalkware. Now this has, it's in really good condition, um, it, but it does have, as a lot of chalkware does, it has some little, some little boo-boos. Let me hold it the right way. Cause the hanger has it hanging this way. So your bananas are on the side and your cherries are just hanging out here in the middle of nowhere and your plums are on top. So that's the way that the hanger is on there. So, um, but it, it does have, you know, a little, some little nicks and scratches, but for the most part, it's a real good solid piece of chalkware. It is $12 and it is number 25. $12, number 25. I think those are plums, oranges, but you would think, I don't know, but I think it's odd that the cherries are just kind of coming out on the side here, but. I have Michelle. Michelle Comfy Cozy. Those cherries got her. Well, let's move from cherries to strawberries. This was in a haul that I did. I got this at a yard sale. Yeah, your hair, your cherries just hanging out over on the side. So this is strawberries now, a little strawberry pot. Isn't that cute? So it, it's just odd how the leaves kind of for, form the handle. I just thought it was interesting. It doesn't have any maker's mark on it at all, but I didn't know if maybe you could put a little strawberry plant in here. Now I know that just, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And a cute little strawberry has some gold trim here. It's in great condition. This is $8 and it is number 29. Oops, $8 number 29. I just liked it. I thought it was fun. I have Michael Todd. Michael Todd. Ooh, good Michael Todd. I still, I have stuff for you that I need to send out. I haven't gotten to it yet. So now I, it's going to make me. Got to send that stuff out to Michael. Flower frog. Now don't get too excited because it's a glass one. I did though just get a metal flower frog. It'll be in a haul video on Thursday from an antique mall for $6. But I'm keeping it. So, glass flower frog. I know that Alex, a lot of the times from Chapter 2 Vintage, she'll put marbles. And she has a marble collection. So, she'll put marbles on her flower frog. I actually have some restaurant wear and some ironstone creamers that I, I pile some in. So, I just kind of add them to those creamers. So, the glass flower frog. This one, a lot of times you find these and they will be you know, nicked and dinged and stuff because, you know, people just put them in a pot. Uh, it does have the rim here, so you could set it in a, in a terracotta pot and use it for what it was meant to be used for. But this is $6 and it's number 27. Hi, Vinny. You only find the metal flower frogs there for the glass? It must be like a regional thing. Because here I find the glass ones everywhere. I did find a uranium green glass one at an antique mall Monday, but they wanted like $18 for it. That's a little crazy. Amy, and it was cracked. Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford, you got it. All right. How about a little, since I talked about Alex, how about a little Florida shell souvenir piece? These are, I just thought that this was just fun and just a little quirky. And I liked how the inside of it was painted. Let me take the tag off. The inside's painted green. The jar itself is a clear jar, but it was painted green and it has gold, a gold trim around it. Actually, you know what? I take that back. The jar is painted green, or the jar is green glass. It's green glass that they painted over it in gold. You see there, I have the 
stick, price sticker on there, but it's green glass that they painted over in gold. And they've just glued all these little bits of shells on there. Just a vintage little, uh, it could be an air pot or air plant. Forest green anchor hawking. Probably Ricky, I need to put her in my pocket. And I left the price tag of what I paid on it. But this is $6 and it's number 12. It is tacky, but it's good tacky. Isn't that fun? Florida. Side Street Market. Side Street Market. This little guy, he's a souvenir piece, but I can't figure out from where. I, in my own mind, here he is, let me show him to you. I love figurines. So, I think that he is like a jockey, like he's working in the stables. So it kind of reminds me of Churchill Downs, but I don't believe that it's, well, I know that it doesn't say Churchill, Churchill Downs, but here's a souvenir. It says souvenir of, you see that? I can't tell. It looks like G-A-R, then I can't tell the rest. But look at his little face. He's like has a little sourpuss face. But he has like a little shovel. And he it, what to me looks like a stethoscope. So I don't know. Well, what is it? But he has a little polka dotted shirt on. It doesn't have any damage on it at all. Garfield Park. No, I don't think it is because the la the second word ends in an S. The second word ends in an S. So it's not Garfield Park. But he's in excellent condition. He doesn't have any flaws. He is $8. And he is number 10. Looks like a sexton. I don't know what that is, Amy. I don't think it's anything naughty or saucy, but I'm sure it's a job. Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford? You have to let me know what that is. Okay. Now let's do birds. I got these. Where did I get these? Did I get these when I went to Kentucky? I did. I got these when I went to Kentucky. I think I got these when I we were at the shed in Paducah. Oh, you're a funeral director. It's a grave digger. <gasps> yes, Amy. But why would he have that thing around his neck? That looked like a stethoscope. Was he making sure? I don't know. That was weird. But little birds, little blue birds. Um, Ricky probably knows who made this. I didn't look it up. It's, it's cold painted for the most part. Sexton is a common last name. Can't remember, but plus Sexton made it 1960. Oh, okay. I need to quit. See, I need to quit reading the comments. All right, making sure they're dead. But cute little birds, listening for the dead to speak. The mama bird and the baby bird. There's no maker's mark on it. It has a very brushed, it's not brushed McCoy, but it has that feel to it. Just cute little birds. I like the flowers on them. And it, <laughs> Vinny, who's talking about sex. It's $8 and number 58. $8, number 58 for the little bluebird ceramic bluebirds. Gosh, there's a word I was looking for that reminded me of the maker of those, and I can't think of what it was. Number 58 went to um, Side Street Market. Side Street Market. Okay, how about a piece of Hager? They're like crystal clear. Like... Okay. How about a piece of Hager? Y'all like Hager? Here is a piece of Hager. Now, this is, well, it's Hager on the bottom. These are just the marks from where it was being, when it was being fired. So really pretty pink color. It's not like a vintage pink color. It's kind of almost like a rose, a rosy pink color. 
but it is this nice size planter. It's in great condition, no chips, no cracks, no flaws on it. It's this little ribbed, kind of reminds me a little bit of a fridgy dish, only it's not, but it has that shape, how the little ridges are. But this is $18. And it is number 54, $18 mauve, that's the word, mauve, number 54 for the Hager Plower Pot. Although, and also I had this um, in the bathroom here at the shop and I didn't realize that I was using it. I mean, I had like, extra soaps and room spray and all this other kind of stuff. And I was like, I need to get that out. I don't need that. This is going to go on myself. So I cleaned it and now it's going to be somebody's. Who won that, Emma? Denise Massar. Denise Massar. Nassar. Don't forget, guys, to send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with all your information. What was I doing last night? I, I know Stephanie had her sale last night. There was a lot of talk about, oh, eggplants and peaches. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to have anything that might resemble any of those things. But, but these guys are fun. Look at him. This is the guy. He is so sick of playing that banjo. He is done. Done, done, done. He's rolling his eyes. And then this guy's just happily playing his trumpet. He'll play it all night. Although he does look a little, he does look a little, a little mad. But I don't know who made these. They are made in Japan. But I saw these at the antique store and I had to get them. And my friend Cindy saw them and she's like, I knew you were going to get those. But aren't they just fun if you have musicians in your life? But these are $10 for the pair of them. There aren't, there isn't any, any chips, cracks, or flaws. Maybe you've got the rest of the band and you need, you need them. You need these guys. Um, $10, number 26. $10, number 26 for him. I like them, but I like weird things like this. Nobody wants those. Those are iconic. All right. Let's move on to, you know, if I don't sell them, I'm going to have to keep them. Just saying. All right. Moving on. I'm going to show you another linen piece. This is really, really cool. Now I got these from George's when I went to George's place and they are, uh, this is like a, a cards table size but there it's just pretty it's on linen but it has this blue and red needle point all the way around it and the trim is also blue and red it's and smaller than card table size. It, emma says it's smaller than a card table size probably a little bit it's, yeah it's like the size of the top of the table yeah, it, it wouldn't hang over at all on a card table. It would just cover it. Um, but it would be really cute on a children's, you know, little table for a tea party. Um, there aren't any stains on this or, or holes on it. The cool thing about th this is what, I, what drew me to it, and I don't know why I think this, but I do. It also has four napkins that go with it. And here are the napkins. And they also have the red and blue. To me, I just it just reminded me of the mil like a military piece, like a um who put Laura in time out? Somebody put Laura in time. I saw who it was. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, don't be putting Laura in time out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Laura does not deserve to be put in time out. Okay, and it wasn't Emma. No, it wasn't. Okay, so this reminds me very much of like a military themed piece. So it'd be really cool for the 4th of July. I just think that it's really, I just really loved it. They all have all been laundered. They're all clean. So you get four napkins. They're all in great condition. And the tablecloth. 
for $18 and they're number 49. $18, number 49 for the tablecloth, the linen tablecloth with matching napkins. This is 49. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Michelle Gomez. Michelle Gomez. You found something strawberry today for a dollar? Oh, cool. Laura said she was trying to buy something. It told her she was in timeout. I don't think she meant to. Put it, in timeout. it wasn't intentional, Laura. No one wants to. What? No one wants. Okay. What was twenty-six? The little boys. Yeah, nobody. Well, nobody wanted you, little boys. We'll try you on Instagram. And if you don't sell on Instagram. You may just have to be oh, going home with me. All right, let's try another little air plant vessel. This is made in occupied Japan. It's a really pretty brown glaze, a little urn type miniature picture. It has this really pretty pink and yellow, uh, pink flower with yellow leaves. I loved it, and I love that it's made in occupied Japan. It is a piece of redware. Uh, perfect for an air plant and I had said in my I think I said in the haul video that I I have a couple of these that I like the, like the long skinny air plants these are perfect for those and it still it adds a little bit of um, height and differentiation of levels in your display I liked it a lot um, and then oh and it's six dollars and it's number 21 six dollars number 21 Things where I can reach them a little bit easier. Oh, he was hanging right back there. CA Susie. CA Susie. Okay, so I have a, some um, silver plate pieces. I'm going to show one today. Dad just picked these up um, within this past week or so. So this is the one I'm going to show today. I like the feet on it. It has four little feet on it. I couldn't tell. I think that it is Rogers or Sheridan. I think it's Sheridan Silver Plate. Sheridan Silver Plate. It has a really pretty handle. And you. this is a faux succulent. But, you know, I mean, it just, I think that it's nice. You put this with some white ironstone and it just adds just a little bit of different differentiation. To your display. Mama Jason looks like a witch's cauldron. Oh, it does look like a witch's cauldron, kind of. It is not that heavy, no. It isn't very heavy. It is eight dollars and it's number twenty-four. Eight dollars numbers. <laughs> Laura says I do do a lot of things, but to be put in time out when she was behaving. <laughs> so yeah, eight dollars number. 24. I already forgot. I have um, Susan Frank. Susan Frank. Who likes American Bisque? I do. Okay, so I have a little American Bisque bird planter. Really pretty colors on there, like the pastel colors on there. It's marked USA on the back. Oh yeah, 250 people. Yeah, make sure everybody you give a thumbs up. Um, this is it has no cracks, chips, flaws on it anywhere. Here is the bottom. Uh, this is where are you at? Sixteen dollars and it's number forty. Sixteen dollars, number forty, for the American bisque. Um. Planter. How come I can never remember the number? As soon as I say it, it just goes out of my brain. Lori Wortley got number 40, which is mine. Lori Wortley, Wortley got number 40. Someone asked who got 21, and it was C.A. Susie. C.A. Susie got 21. Okay, I have some little doggies. These were in 
that video, the haul video where I got all those dog figurines. So it's, I don't know, we, we've had this discussion on what kind of dogs these were and we don't really know. They're a terrier of some sort, but there's three of them in this little set. So here's the big one. <laughs> I like the little one. And then there's the middle size one. And then we got the little baby. Now the little baby has a little broken ear. But they have like the white and and some muted good thing there's a tag on there. Muted blue tones. They're Westies. Yeah, I could see that. I think I had thought that they were, um, we'll see, someone says Wheaton Terrier. And I thought that they were Yorkies, but I don't think that they are Yorkies. Super cute. They, they're they just a little, I don't know if they're bone china. They're a little bit thicker. Than that. Oh, you have the matching kittens in a basket. Oh, yeah, Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's having her live vintage sale tomorrow at 1. Okay. So you get all three of these. Now remember, this one right here has a little broken ear right there. You get all three of them for $6, and they are number 14. All three of them for $6, number 14. Mine are not mar marked Occupied Japan. They're not marked anything. But 14, or 14, number 14, $6. I have Angela Angela Curry. This, I think I got this from uh, the shed when we went to Kentucky. It's this really pretty avocado green and teal um, drip glaze. It's not, actually it is marked USA on the bottom. I believe that's what that says. There's no chips or cracks or flaws on it. I think that it's really pretty. I like the, the contrast between kind of the hard avocado green and the soft seafoam green. And it even has some of the glaze on the inside there. And the this is $10 and it is number 57. $10, number 57, <laughs> sounds naughty, the shed. I'm telling you what, the shed was a great place. It was a great place. I would love to go back. But this is really pretty, and it just feels good. It's just one of those that you just, like you see it on the shelf, and you're like, I want to touch that. It feels shiny. Okay. That's the way my brain works. Um, 57 was Go So Boho Rescued Treasures. Ooh, Yo So, Yo so Boho Rescued Treasures. You won that little cutie. Barb the Shed was awesome. We'll have to go back down there again. It, it was really, really cool. There is another one, a flea market called Trader Bakers. That's about mm, 45 minutes to an hour away from me, kind of on the north side of Bloomington that I want to go to. It kind of reminded me a lot of that. Okay, so I've got a brass. Again, that's one of those animals. I think it's a dog but maybe it's a lamb. I don't know. It's brass. I like his, the body is of a dog, but his face is like a lamb. It's a lamb dog. Do you guys think that this is a dog? <laughs> Kids leave me alone. I'm going to the shed. <laughs> That's right. I know it's a cool name, but I don't know. That's it, definitely a dog. Look how it's sitting. Lamb's not there's sitting a Trader like Baker's, huh? But look at its face. See, people are saying goat. No, me, Dog lamb. Mimi said goat. I don't know what it is, but it has no, nothing. It's like, has no marks, like no identification marks on its, on its, the middle of its head. But it is, it's a, it's a piece of solid brass. Uh, it is $8 and it is number seven. So if you want dog, lamb, goat, it can be yours. There's no tail. Oh. Dog, lamb, go. It's a damn. It's a damn. It's eight dollars. Number seven. I have Val M. Val M. Oh, I remember a party line. Yeah, I was. We. I was never. We. I was. I always wanted my own phone line too, but that never happened. 
Okay, let's do another tablecloth. Now this one's really pretty. It's a damn log is what that is. I still, whenever you drive over a dam, do you find yourself saying, I'll be your damn tour guide? Do you remember that from Vegas vacation? We do that all the time, every time we, because we live close to a, Bloomington has a dam. I'll be your damn tour guide. Take all the damn pictures you want. All right, so this is a square tablecloth. Let me show you the whole thing. If what from what you can see it is square it's got tulips on it and it's trimmed in yellow it's not square, it? Emma that is that is square no it's not it's in between a square and a rectangle I would say it's way shorter on that side than it is on the other side. Oh, yeah anyway it would fit over a yeah. card table it does have some coffee stains on it it is linen but, and it has one little, like a, like a, what is that called? Like your jeans are torn. What is that? Um, fray? Fray? Fray. So, this is $15 and it is number 48. It has been washed, just not treated. It is linen. It is $15 and it is number 48. Suzanne McLean. All right. You want to see something fun? You want to see something fun? No, you haven't, Michael. Oh, let me put the tag in. Ooh. Now, talk about a witch's cauldron. Now, if you could get, you could probably build something to make that happen for a display. Because it's got this, this is, for, it was part of a juicer. But who, who needs it for that anymore? So I'm thinking you could put this in something for like a Halloween display. And look, isn't that fun? I love uranium glass. So, there is no chips or flaws on it anywhere. At first I thought it was for a drinking fountain. And then I discovered, no, Misty, it's not for a drinking fountain. It was for a juicer. So this part screwed in to the juicer part yesterday. It was like you could buy an attachment. And this was part of that. And you would poison yourself. But isn't that cool? I love it. But I think that it would be neat if you somehow built something around it or stuck it in something. And then you could use it for a Halloween display. It had green plaid on the machine. Oh, see, I didn't, and I actually have, I think I have a couple of these. It had green plaid in the machine. I love this. Uh, it, there's no, no flaws on it anywhere. It has some uh, numbers on the, it says DES patent 87228 embossed bottom, but no flaws on it anywhere. It is $35 and it is number 45. It is a little heavy. I will wrap it well. Uh, $35, number 45 for the uranium glass juicer attachment. All right. Ooh, let's do this next. Okay. It does glow. All right, so now I've got a poodle Michelle poodle schnuda poodle schnuda this was in also in my haul video where I bought a bunch of dogs and look at his little face now this was a carnival prize it's odd because it was supposed to be a bank but the bank, but the slot is all covered up. And there's a spot down here that feels a little hollow. Do you hear that? So it's going to make me a little nervous to ship it. I mean, I will wrap it very, very well. But it's starting, it does have a little bit of a crack. You see that? But that, I just don't understand why it's, bye Benny why it's hollow like that because the rest of him 
It's fine. Now, he is chalkware. Look, someone put some felt on his little footsies. He does have some glitter around his neck. I don't know if that was always on there or if somebody added it. But he has a little heart on his chest, which I think is so cute. So I see that as the one where you throw bottles at ball at a milk bottle. Maybe it has a butt plug. I don't know, Laura. Possibly. But it's it's really cute. The paint on him is still good. I mean, he does have a little bit of some little nicks and scratches on him, but that hollow part, maybe there's like drugs in here. <laughs> maybe it's a mule and like there's something good in here, Laura. I don't hear anything in there, but I don't know. But this is $16 and it is number eight. $16, number eight for the big cartel poodle. Huh? Cartel poodle. He's part of the cartel. Um, I have Slick Hendrix 941. Slick Hendrix. You, you, yeah, Slick, Slick. Hendrix. Yeah. I can, well, Slick, she bought something else for me. I think I'm going to ship it separate, though, still, because I'm afraid that it'll intermingle with that. So I'm still going to. Um, you already shipped it. Well, I have it. It's sitting right there. I'm having issues with my label printer, so we're going to try to figure that out. So, Slick Hendrix. I know. I like saying it, too. And I don't need... Well, you know what? I'll put this over here. All right. Well, let's just do some more poodles. I have two more poodles over here. The, you get both of them. They don't go together, but I'm going to sell them together. You've got this little poodle here. He's black and white. There's his little tail. You know, and I had some another poodle that looked like it had growth on its back, but that's actually his tail. Yeah, I know Slick Hendrix. I, I'm, I'm worried that to send it together. And then there's like the little lavender colored poodle. Now the lavender colored poodle is cold painted, so he's got some paint missing. He's got a little flower on his chest, but you will get both poodles. Um, this one's marked, actually they're both marked Japan. Um, and you get both of them for $6 and they are number 15. $6 for the pair of poodles. Look at the eyelashes. No, no, that's not eyelashes. I was looking at it wrong. 15 for number, number 15 is $6. Randy Heilman. Randy Heilman. They need to belong with you, Randy. Randy has a whole big poodle collection. Okay, I, I tried, well, I'm going to do this. It's panther time. It's panther time. Are y'all ready for the panther, for panther time? This is a Royal Copley panther. I believe it's Royal Copley. It's either, no, I think it's American Bisque, actually. It's American Bisque. Thank you, Ryan. Huh? It's American Bisque because it has the USA and it has this part on the bottom. I believe, Randy, do you believe... This is, or Ricky, Ricky or Randy, Randy. American Bisque, this? It's American Bisque. That's what I thought. And I sold another one not too long ago um, that was pink. So this one's yellow. I did get this in Kentucky. I did pay up for it. It was on sale, but I still paid up for it. Because you all know that I am cheap. And when you are a reseller, you need to keep your cost of goods as low as you can. That's just what you try what you try to do there are certain things that you will pay up for if they're going to be being bringing you big big bucks but i've um i've i paid up for this a little bit so um the black panther is american bisque it's marked usa right there it is in great condition ricky says it's from the 1950s it, there's no chips or flaws on it anywhere. It would be great as a pen holder. You could put your pens and stuff in there if you didn't want to use it as a planter. It is a little bit dirty on the inside. I will clean it out before I send it to you. This is $20 and it is number 56. $20, number 56. The Black Panther American Bisque. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron bought the pink one. This one's in yellow. 
American Bisque Planter. I have um, Leanne Doolin. Leanne Doolin. You got the American Bisque Panther. I know, I saw it and I him and hauled thinking, do I want it? But I got, I knew I sold it before. So I, I knew I would be okay. All right, let's do something that I just thought I would try. You guys know that I like advertisement pieces. You know that I do. Hi, June. And I liked this box and it is from the Ingram Clock Company. Now, the pink, or the pink, the clock is not in the box. I'll open up the box so you can see where the clock once was. This is just the box. Now, sometimes on like watch boxes and certain piece, pieces of advertisement memorabilia, the box is sometimes worth more than the actual content that was in it. But this is an Ingram Clockmakers of Over a Century made in the modern plant by skilled American craftsmen. I like the building that was on it. Sometimes you can't really see, but sometimes you can see if there's cars and stuff on, on the building. It would be good for a Halloween decor because of the colors. Now, there is some issues on the side of the box. But this is the directions on how to wind the clock. Uh, dependable alarm clock. So you could even use this side too if you wanted to display things on top. And this was a one day alarm. It was the ACE alarm. It had, it was made in Bristol, Connecticut. Guaranteed timekeeper. I, I just like advertisement pieces. I do. The, the top, I mean, it does have some issues. This is $5, which I think is a really good price. I wasn't for sure if people like this as much as I do, but it's $5 and it's number five. It's cardboard box, $5, number five. Suzanne McLean. Suzanne McLean. See, I, I, I'm going to show you something. I'll show you another piece of advertisement now too because i just like it and who would have thought who would have thought that people would like this stuff but i do my dad likes it i think he's the one that kind of got me hooked on it i like to put things like this i'm about to show you in with my decor i'm sorry michael michael i'm gonna send you surprises though okay so this is another piece of advertisement it is a it's brake fluid who would have thought that brake fluid you would like to put that on a shelf in your home, in your family room. But, you know, if you're weird like me, you like things like this. But I liked the font on it. Yes, it's rusty, but I like that about it. It is heavy-duty hydraulic brake fluid. It's Now, if this is harmful or fatal if you swallow it. So, but you, luckily it's empty. It is rusted. It's not rusted through. Um, it's guaranteed. But I like the stripes on it. It does not have a, a readout or the barcode on it. Uh, so this was made in Danville, Illinois from the Petroleum Chemicals Company. I just like this stuff. I know. I love the fonts on it. So this is, how much are you? Also $5. And it is number six. $5. Number six. It does, it does look a little bit like a shaving cream bottle. I just like it. I like it. Uh, number six was Sherry Crater. Sherry Crater. You've got good taste. Katie, you do too because you were trying to get it too. Now, who likes laxative items? Oh, is it just me? Hey, um, Maria said that she's having her first sale this Saturday at 10 a.m. Oh, this Saturday at 10 a.m. Which is 1 p.m. Eastern. Which is 1 p.m. Eastern. She's Christmas in July. Oh, Maria, it, which is the California Thrifter, is having a sale at 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 o'clock Pacific. She's in California. So... Make sure that you check her out. Her YouTube channel is, is it California Thrifter, I believe. Okay. So, yes, I like laxative things. This is a laxative bottle. And I'm selling it. Um, this is Jad Salts. 
Jad salts. Oh, June said she doesn't have a wrench anymore. Can you, can you give her a wrench? I can. Maybe I can. I don't understand that. Um, add moderator. There you go, June. There you go. Yeah, go follow California Thrifter. Okay, so Jad Salts. It is kind of a brown and tan color. It's cooling and refreshing. Now, this is a for laxative. It's sparkling effervescent salts combining fruit acids derived from grapes and lemons with sodium barbicarbonate, sodium phosphate, potassium bi biocarbonate, lithium carbonate, and sodium chloride. It was $1.25 from the Weath Chemical Company in New York. Beware of counterfeit. Um, it's the morning dose before breakfast. Who needs coffee? You can have um, jet salts. It says the preparation can be taken at any time before or after meals, but we recommend the best laxative effect for the morning dose. Um, for flushing the bowels and thereby increasing intestinal elimination of waste products. If, you can give it to children, one to two teaspoons, according to age. Drink it immediately. So, great for a bathroom. It is, oh, and it's embossed up here too, Jad Salts. It is $6 and it is number 43. $6, and it is a paper label. It is a paper label on a glass bottle. TMI. I know, but you know, it's, we don't, we don't worry about things like that on my channel. $6, number 43. Sherry Crater. Hmm. Rachel. Rachel's my girl. She likes weird things too, like me. All right. Rachel, how about this? Now, Rachel has a lot of these, and I don't know if Rachel will want this one, but I have another 7-Up bottle. Another great piece of advertisement. It's great for a display. It's a nice green color. This is a vintage 7-Up bottle. Hi, D. Oh, she's won lots of these. I think this is my last one. I do have a couple of the Bubble Girl ones that I will be showing the next time I have a sale in two weeks. Um, this is $6, and it's number 42. This one was bought. Oh, this one doesn't say where it was bottled, but it is. You like it. It likes you. Fresh Up with 7-Up. $6, number 42 for the seven up bottle. And let's try this. All right, I'm gonna put Barb Murphy. Barb, they do look really nice in a display. I, I myself like blue and white bottles, uh, but the seven up ones do look really nice in a display, that pop of green color. All right, I have a little jar of a clock. Do you see the clock, the little, ha the hour hands on there? It's on both sides. It is kind of cloudy on the inside. We have washed it. Um, I, I want to say that there was peanut butter in a lot of these, but I'm not sure. There isn't a name on it anywhere, and I meant to look and see if I could find a little lid. I'll still look and see if I can find a lid for it. I do have a stash of lids, so we'll see if we can find a lid. But I thought it was a cute little bottle. You could put, you know, game pieces in here, um, marbles in here. I thought it would be, it's a, okay, marbles in it. You have marbles in it, Barb. Yeah, I just thought it was neat. I have sold another one of these that had another embossment on it. It was like peanut butter, I think. This is $6, and it's number 22. Oh, it would be good for a New Year's display. You guys have such good ideas. Connie Emmerich, number 22. I have a half of a lady who likes half of a lady. She is a pincushion top. Here she is. She was in a recent haul video. She looks very worried because she doesn't have half of her body. Uh, she, I don't think she's, I think she's made in Japan. She's bisque and she is painted. 
Um, she is not German. I do not think that she is German, but it is. Oh, you know what? It's not German because it says Japan right there. She is made in Japan. Uh, she's very Victorian looking. Now, she would have had a pin cushion, you know, or dress. Her dress would have been a pin cushion and you could stab her, her little dress. Very Victorian looking. This is $10 and it's number 60. A lot of people will collect these and they'll just have a whole shelf full of half girls, half women. So I liked her. $10, number 60. I thought I saw somebody. Sherry G. Sherry G. Oh, you bought your first one today? Michael, did you post pictures of it? I haven't been on Instagram at all today, so I don't know. Okay. I've got another personal creamer. I don't think this one's marked either. No. Well, it has a little remnant of a, of a mark. Maybe Barb would know, but here it is. It's a little restaurant wear creamer. It has a kind of a tan or a brown with a black rim. It has what looks like a B or an R on the bottom of it, but that's it. So that, I don't know. I can't go from anywhere from there, but it's a cute little personal creamer. Um, it's a little bit squattier than the other one that I sold. Oh, it would be good for a Halloween display. But see, it's a little bit squattier. It's a little bit more rotund. Yeah, I wasn't for sure either. But it, it's either a B or an R. But this is $6, and it is number one. It would be cute for a Halloween display. I didn't even think about that. Man, maybe it would be cute for You could put like a little orange bottle brush tree in there, or a little black bottle brush tree. $6, number one. Okay. Oh, my vintage. Oh, my vintage. Such good ideas. Diaz. All right, since I think Rachel might still be here, this is a bottle. Now, this is the kind of bottle that I like. And I got this, I paid a little up for it at a yard sale for a bottle for me. But this is Milk K Vitamin Drink. Um, vitamin drinks are good for you. Now, so this reminded me of like an energy drink. And it is Milk K Bottle. Milk A bottle contains vitamin B1. And it's kind of has that, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Weave in the glass? But it's made with fresh oranges. Contains more than 50 units of vitamin B1. It's got little windmills on each side. This was bottled in Vincennes, Indiana by Shercliffe Industries. So I like these with red, red and blue bottles are the ones that I like. I mainly like the red bottles, but I do like the blue ones, especially for um, a display. So, and I think someone had wrote me so that they had seen the sale on eBay for 12 to $15, I think, just this bottle here. Um, on the bottom, it is Duraglass. And it is $8 and it's number 17. $8, number 17, for the Milk K, oh, just say Milk K, the vitamin drink. Deborah Shulman. Okay. The Cult of Vintage. That's Michael, that's, well, Michael runs that. That's his store for vintage things. I liked it too, Amy. Okay, so I have strawberry napkins. They are, they're the ones that, I think these were in my video yesterday that had the rogue strawberry because I thought I just had one, but then I had four. But there's the patch. Now, it's not a needlepoint. It is a patch that's sewn on there. And it has, they have brown trim, very 1970s, 1980s, a yellow and a red strawberry. With the brown trim, they're square napkins, and you get four of them. Four of them for the price of $12, and they are number 47. 
$12, number 47 for the four strawberry napkins. Linen. Is it $12? There's $12. And I can't get them folded the right way. Oh, bye, Michael. Yeah, follow the Cult of Vintage on Instagram. That's Michael's channel. I did fold these roll. So $12 for the strawberry napkins. Okay. Did the Christmas wreath? Yes, the Christmas wreath has sold. All right, let's move on to a pin, a brooch. We have a flamingo brooch standing on a pearl, or it has half of a pearl of it for its leg. And it is, um, it, it's not enamel, but it's painted to look a little bit like an enamel wear piece. But very fun little um, pin. It's in like a rose gold bezel. It has the little hook clasp. So it's not, um, it's not like a lobster claw. But this is $10 and it's number 33. $10 number 33 for the flamingo brooch. Stacy Vintage Cat Co. Next, I've got some chicken house or chicken coop, I guess will be. I think I wrote on Emma's list, chicken house. That would be a chicken coop. But these are chicken coop salt and pepper shakers. They are made in, I, these are made in Japan by, um, hmm, what do you say? Shafford? But they're Yona or Young. Yona? I don't know. See there? They are made in Japan. They are in excellent condition. They do have their corks. Just little little chicken coop salt and pepper shakers. They're $8. Yona. They're $8 and they are number 16. $8 number 16 for the chicken coop salt and pepper shakers. There's the tops of them. Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford. Okay, I took a chance on these. I got them not too long ago. They just, I don't know. I saw them and I kind of debated and sometimes, and I, I didn't put them in my car and then I walked around again because you know you should always walk around more than one time. So, the, I, I got them. They're a set of three, and you will get all three of these. So, they are made by Nora. They're very 1970s, 1980s, and they're like 3D. So, here is one of the girls. They're in like an avocado green frame. You're all crying about the bear. Oh. Oh. He hasn't been sold yet. He needs to go a new home. Who got the salt and pepper shakers, Emma? Amy Crawford? Mm -hmm. Amy Crawford. So here is one little girl. You can kind of see that they're kind of three-dimensional. So they're kind of, they look like a greeting card almost. So here is the first one. And you'll get all three of these. Here is the second one. <laughs> Aaron likes the back of them. Now... It looks like a Holly Hobby yeah. esque. Now I, again, when my kids move out of the house, I am going to turn one of their bedrooms into this was my childhood. So these would be this would be something like this that would be, um, you know, in that room. You know what I mean? So, and then here is the third one. She's got a little turtle with a flower. She's giving the turtle a flower. I thought that they were so sweet, <laughs> Aaron. Aaron wants to hang them this way. Well, you probably could, but yeah, it's kind of a foiled back. So you get all three of them. All three of them. 
and they are sixteen dollars they're number 34. sixteen dollars number 34. they are kind of 3d I'm trying to see maybe this one you can tell a little bit more Lori Wortley. see how that's kind of there's there's 3d i don't know how else to describe it Lori Wortley, you won the pictures they do have glass on them, but I will, I will wrap them very carefully. Now I have a little spaniel, a little, like a little piano baby spaniel, spaniel. Look at his little face. I believe that this is a cocker spaniel. I do believe it. And it, well, it says spaniel here on the bottom. He's ceramic. There's the back. I did get this at Kentucky, uh, one of the antique malls. I can't remember which one. I got it when I was shopping with Jeffrey. He got the cats and I got the dog, the spaniel. He is $8 and he's number 39. $8, number 39 for the little spaniel dog. 39, Amy Crawford. Amy Crawford. Do you want me to do baby bear? Shirley's not here today, guys, not unless she's just staying quiet. So, bear. Now, I got this from George's. I could not leave it. I get very, I, I buy things sometimes on an emotional level. Like, if something has a broken arm, and, but it's cute, I can still display that. I can still, you know. I, know. Yeah, I don't like the lips. <laughs> Why does it have lipstick on? It doesn't. See, here's the thing. He's been so loved that his face is kind of smashed in. Yeah, he's a little panda bear. So someone has just loved on this bear so much that his little face and his mouth got smushed in. See? And he, I left this little, this little silky bow was still around his neck. Now, his eyes are, they are plastic. They're not glass. You could, you could sew them around. No, I don't like, I like him without an eye. You put an eye patch on him. Oh, you could put an eye patch on him. <gasps> That's a good idea. Now, his body has stuffing in it, not hay. He doesn't have a tag, but he's so, he was, he's just so sweet. Look at his, look at his little hands. Hi, take me home and love me. Me, 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 me. I don't need an eye. You can get me an eye patch. So I like him. You're so cute, little panda. So he is, I think that he's worthy. He's $16 and he would look so cute just sitting on a chair in your display. $16 and he's number 19. Look at, he's all haunched over. Haunched? Haunched, haunched. $16, number 19. Margaret M. Margaret M, you got good taste. I like, he is hand sewn. See how his lips are sewn together? Margaret, I know you'll give him a good home. I will wrap him nicely on his travel so he can have safe travels to you. I think, Bear, you're going to a new home. You're going to Margaret's house. Okay. This is fun. I asked Emma if she wanted this, but she said she didn't because she's kind of going with this kind of earthy, muted. She, Laura, Laura, Emma don't want mushrooms, but it's a mushroom um, napkin holder. You know, it's a, it's a, it's been with what Rachel say. That's how I look. Oh, that's how I feel when the whole internet thing was happening. So it's a cute little wooden a uh, napkin holder with mushrooms on it. You see this, Laura? You there? Okay, so this is $8, and it's number 28. $8, number 28. Oh, Margaret has several injured stuffed animals, and she loves them all. Mm -hmm. Margaret, you're a kind soul. Um, I love that. 28 goes to side street. Side Street Market. Okay, let's sell the, oh, I love this. This was really dirty on the inside and I cleaned it as best as I could, but 
it would be, I, I didn't, I didn't have like, I cleaned them with, with Clorox wipes and not like my sink with the sprayer. So it's kind of dirty still on the inside, but it's this little, I think this is left in. Yeah. A little left in planter home tweet home. This would be so cute. And now I think, was it this one? No. All of the petals on the flowers are intact. So all of these little petals. Oh, Lena. Lena, you won. Lena, you won the Junk Journal Starter Kit. You did, Lena. Congratulations. So isn't this cute? Why did you say that last time? Because I saw Lena in the chat. Um, it is Lefton. Lefton China. There's the bottom sticker. And uh, there's no no chips or cracks or flaws on it. But, you know, I I cleaned him. He was very dirty on the inside. But I cleaned him with a Clorox wipe. But he has the little uh, hanger right here. I just thought it was so cute. And it's got the roses have little jewels in them. So a very cute little piece. It is $16 and it's number 40. $16, number 40, the Lefton Birdhouse. Is it cute? It is cute. You don't think it's cute, Emma? No, it's not number 40, Emma. It, it is number 40 on my tag. How come I can't ever number anything? It's not hard to number things. Um, Lori Wortley got number 40. Lori Wortley, you got the, you won this. Just write birdhouse. I know, but you were number 40, and it was already underneath Lori Worley. Well, and Lori. I said earlier, I said Lori Worley got number 40, way earlier. Oh, well, Lori Wortley got two number 40s. Go back and see. How about a box? But the two planters she won were number 40. Did she win the um, the little boy? Or the, I don't know. we'll find out, Laura. She wants them both. Lori. Laura, Lori. Who would like an oak box? Laura Bemos. Um, hi, Mid-Century Wasted, Jamie. Oh, Mommy and Me swim class with your two-year-old. Emma, we used to go to a Mommy, me, Mommy and Me swim class when you were two. Do you think I remember that? Aw. All right. So, was it birds? Did she win the American Biff? She just won a bird painter. Oh, yeah, she won this one. This one's number 40. What? Two number 40s for Lori Wortley. Whatever. It's not on here. It's the American Bisque. Planter. Well, you can add it, Emma. Oak box. How much was it, Mother? The American Bisque Bird Planter was $16. Then what was the other one? I think it was also $16. Yes, it was also $16. Okay, oak box. Don't mind us. Um, that's the teacher voice coming out. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay, it has these little brass doohickeys on each corner. And then on the class, oh, and it's got eagles. I forgot about the eagles. Two eagles. Now, this would be cute for a 4th of July display or Memorial Day display. That's why I like these boxes. Now, the, the clasp, the little latch part is broken. And, but I think, I don't know if dad did this. Dad, a lot of the times would put felt in some of these boxes. So it does have divided felt tray. What? Chat. Oh, the chat's making her laugh. Now the wood on top is a little dry. You can see here it does have some little, little spots in it, but it's a cute box for a display. And you can, you can, you know, you can put things in there to use it as a jewelry box. It is $18 and it's number 36. It isn't that heavy. Uh, so, I mean, it, it I mean, it, it's going to be priority, definitely, but 
Cute little box, $18, number 36. Laura Bemos. Laura Bemos. She said she would take me in since you're... Oh, since I'm so... Listen, she's getting ready to move away. I don't like that fact. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit too. So, well, I'll, we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right, how about a sweet little girl planter? Look at her. Isn't she sweet? Looks like Emma when she was sweet long, long, long time ago. Yeah. She's got a little little gold shoes and she's got flowers in her hands and little flowers in her hair. She is really, really cute. She doesn't have any flaws on her either. Little vase. Uh, she is made by Yukago. And... She is $8, and she is number nine. She's a little gray-haired little girl. $8, number nine. With a little girl vase. She would be cute with um, makeup brushes in her. Lori Wortley. Lori Wortley, it's not a bird. She does have, she's not, it's not like Dresden. It's, she's not Dresden lace, but she does have kind of what looks like a little bit of that lace around there. All right, how about some brass animals? Do y'all like brass animals? Uh, these are little wall hangings. I did ask Emma if she wanted these, and she also said no. I did get these at a um, yard sale, and I never did get that paint off of the nose of this bunny. Let me try to do that now. Well, I'll get the paint off the nose of this bunny, but you get all three of these in the lot. You hide the tag. So there is a bunny, little copper. Now they are, they're, I don't, they're metal. They're not, they're metal with copper paint. So there is a bunny. There is a bear. They do all hang from the little hook. And then the, this is the cute one, the little deer. They do have some surface scratches on them. And the bunny does have a little piece of paint on its nose that I will get off. But you'll get all three of these. Oh, here, let me show you the other side of them. I think they're just copper painted metal, molded metal pieces. You get all three of them for $12, and they're number 31. And they are very lightweight. $12, number 31, for the copper painted animals. Did this ask what number nine was? It was the girl base and Lori Wortley got it. Oh, this was number nine, and Lori Wortley won this. Um, 31, <coughs> uh, Michelle Newton. Michelle Newton. Oh, and Michelle, I've got the other thing that you were going to get from me, too. And you can... The, the clothespin thing. All right. How about some chickens? Chickens. D, are you watching? D loves chickens. These are, they, they were in the haul video too. Near the ones that I didn't realize that they were salt and pepper shakers until I was doing the haul video. But it is, let me show you one at a time. This is the sugar bowl. And its head Did is, head yeah, you take off his head. And Do they, do they go? Yeah. They look well, they're different colored, but they go. So they're in excellent condition. Here's the bottom. So you, um, <laughs> Dee's running out of the room. Dee, come get your chickens. So they are the head of the hen is a pepper shaker, I believe. So there's that one. And then the creamer is this guy, the rooster. And also you take his head and that is the creamer part. And he does have his stopper in his head too. They're in excellent condition. They're cold painted, the red's cold painted. So it, you know, there it does have a little spots, but like you pour the salt out of the side of his head, which that always cracks me up the way that you, where you see the holes at in these shakers because sometimes they're in really odd places. But you get both of them, both of them for $16. And they are number 30. Both of them for $16 and they're number 30. 30. Not 
three, number 30. Um, Karen, Radford. Karen Radford. Okay. I have a beautiful piece of artwork. A beautiful piece of Victorian um, artwork. Isn't she pretty? It's a, it's a mama with a, holding her baby. Now, the bot, it, it, it's in this beautiful pr frame, too. And it has nails holding the frame in. The bottom of this says, good night. And in the corner here, it says, copyright 1906. So this is copyright 1906. And it says by something, the Chicago Examiner. It does have glass. There is the frame. It's in like a gold painted frame. Isn't it pretty? I love her hair. She's taking her baby up the stairs to go good night. The light's making it hard to see. But it's very thin. And artwork is not as hard to ship as you think it is. I have, I have shipped lots of pieces of artwork. So don't let it scare you if you're buying it to resell. Because it isn't as hard to ship as you think that it is. I mean, you have to pack it well, but it isn't that difficult. This is $35, which is actually a really good price for this piece of artwork. It's over 100 years old, and it is number 35. $35 for number 35. I love the colors and her dress. So pretty. She's looking at her baby. $35 for number 35. Okay. Let me see the back of this wall of silver plate. That's what I thought. Okay. So now I have a hot plate or a trivet, an EP, postpartum depression. Okay. So this is a Wallace silver plate trivet um or you know a little tray it is really pretty it's silver plate and it has a monogram of an o in there e -A -B, oh eab 9204 got number 35 oh thank you sue yeah i you know i pack things i proceed with caution with everything that i that i pack so this is a really nice, heavy-duty piece of silver plate. On the back of it, it does say Wallace Silver Plate. It's showing up there. Made in the USA. And it has the little stoppers here. This is $16, and it's number 38. $16, number 38. Sonia wants to know if she got number nine. I don't think so, Laura Sonia. Wortley Laura Wortley got number nine. Thirty number thirty-eight is sixteen dollars. Who likes a funky groovy pillow? That's crocheted. I think Michelle just sold one of these last weekend. So this is fun neon green or neon orange kind of neon orange, avocado green, yellow, and it's got a fo it's a foamy pillow. Boop, boop, boop. It's the same on both sides. It's really soft. It's really nicely made. Isn't that fun? Groovy. And this is $16 and it's number 20. Hi, Nate. $16, number 20, for the groovy uh, vintage pillow. Side Street. Side Street Market. The nice thing about selling pillows is that you can use them as padding on some other things. All right, also groovy, I have a set of two etc. mugs. They're made in Japan. They are in great condition. There is crazing on them. You could kind of see the crazing on them, but they're the nice stacking mugs. There are two of them and they say, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all over. This one's kind of a mustardy yellow and a blue. They are 
$12 for the set, and they're number 13. $12 for the set, number 13, for the vintage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mugs. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Number 13, Barb Murphy. Barb Murphy. You got the mugs. I'm taking a chance on these. I don't know. They're plates. And I don't like selling plates. Because plates are not... I'd rather ship a piece of artwork than a plate. Just to be honest with you. But these are Pyrex. I I don't know the pattern. I, I know that they've got a pattern name. And I didn't look it up. So, I mean, we'll... You get two this size, like salad plates or dessert plates, maybe. They are Pyrex tableware for corning. So here, they're white. Here's the pattern. They're the same. And then you will also get one, just one, so that's all I had, saucer. Dad bought these. Hi, Dad. Uh, but he got these in a big lot of stuff. So I thought I would just try them and we'll see. They're in good condition, but there's just, there's, there's two and one, but you'll get all three of them for $15 and they're number 41. $15 number 41 for the set of three Pyrex. Don't know what the pattern is. Is the pattern brown or red? It's brown. It's brown. They would look neat in a fall display, I think. So, I thought I'd give them a try. They just take a lot of padding and stuff. A lot of bubble wrap. And then, I don't know. I, like I said, I'd, I'd rather ship artwork than plates. Okay. Now I have a lots of these. Let me show you the picture first. These are not marked. They're not, they're, they're unmarked, but aren't they fun? You have the matching cups. Oh, it, et cetera, it's marked. Wait, you have the matching cups of this? Hmm. Well, maybe we should just put them together. Okay, so the sunburst on here. So, and it has a wooden handle. Very Brady, Brady Bunch. There isn't any marking on it. It's kind of an insulated vintage camper. You're right, Rachel. It's very like an insulated pitcher. There isn't a lid. I don't know if a lid would have came on it, but you get the pitcher and three of the tall tumblers with the matching starburst. Again, they are like an insulated cup. So you get three tall ones. Woo. Three juice glasses. Three, three tall ones, three squatty ones. Hi, Laura. Hi, empty nesting two. And then you also get four green and gold cups. They all have the starburst on there. And just as a bonus, because it's just random, it doesn't go with them at all. But you get a little coffee mug just because it's orange and it's, you know, it, it, it kind of goes with it. It has a little metal um, handle. So you get all of them. You get one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces in this set for $20, and they are number 37. $20 for the entire set of pitcher and glasses, perfect for a vintage camper. $20 for the entire set. Um, I have Side Street Market. Side Street Market. And then lastly, on YouTube, and then we'll go over to Instagram, is the fairy lamp. This is blue glass. 
This is not cold painted. It is actual blue glass, like a blue sapphire glass. It is Ellie Smith Stars and Bars. It's gorgeous. I have never seen a blue one before. It's in excellent condition. There's no flea bites. This is the bottom part. And on the top, you run your finger around, there is one little, one little mark, a little chigger right there, a little rough spot right there. That's the only, the only one. I have never seen a blue one, ever. So this one's pretty special. Um, they sell on eBay anywhere between $30 and $45. So I did price this one $35, and it's number 52. $35, number 52 for the Stars and Bars Ellie Smith Fairy Lamp in the Sapphire Blue. Ooh, that was a horrible sound. Very, very cool. I have Kim W. Kim W. Kim Warhey. Warhey. You have that one, Lori? I have never, never seen that. I have the... The dark green one, the emerald green one too, and it's another one that's pretty rare. And you will see in my video that will be out on Thursday, an even cooler one. Yeah, it's even cooler. I've been finding them everywhere I go. So I'm always on the hunt for fairy lamps and I'm actually selling some of my collection of fairy lamps as well. Uh, Cause again, it's just something that I've, I've moved on from. So I try to have a fairy lamp in every sale. There will be a period in time where that won't be the case, but I'm, we'll move on to something else that I'm, you know, going to have offer at every sale. All right. So there will not be a sale next week because I am going on vacation. Um, there, I'm probably going to have a sale a live sale on Monday or next, not this Monday, but next Monday at one o'clock. So same time, but it's just going to be on a Monday instead of on a Wednesday because Emma moved back to college on Wednesday. So I'm going to have to spend the rest of the week, the end of the week in Evansville, getting her settled and moved in, which is going to be kind of an experience in itself because of the Corona. It's just did you show the whole moving no, process? Oh, oh, I have one more thing. I have one more thing. It's one more cool thing, but let me finish my story. So there's a whole protocol and it's just going to be weird. Now, Emma is still going to um, keep track for me on Wednesday. So she'll still be in the chat. You can still hi say hi to her. She just won't be helping me with invoices. I am going to have another person help me with invoices but it, if I end up huh on huh you can't do the sales on Wednesdays no on a normal Wednesday yeah on a normal Wednesday um so you'll still be able to talk to her in the chat but um but not for a couple weeks uh and if I don't have someone to help me with the invoices, it's just going to take me an extra day to get invoices out. That's what it basically boils down to. So I will be posting on Instagram what my schedule is going to be. Emma and I may go live one evening while we're on vacation just to kind of check in. I do have some videos that will be planned, but I may not do a video every single day. So just don't forget about me. I guess that's, I'm always worried that if I don't post a video, you guys will forget about me. So I have one more thing that it's really, really cool. I really love this. I love this so much and I almost kept this, but I can't keep everything. But look at this pillow cover. Look at this pillow cover. It is, what are you made out of? It's like a big patch, like a, it's not cruel, but it's like a big patch of a cat. And the back of it is purple satin. Purple satin. And on this side, the black is like a linen black. And this is the patch. And then there's purple satin on the front. But you put the pillow in here. 
So see, ooh, are you reversible? Wait a minute. Well, you're not reversible. There's the other side, that's kind of haunting. It's got no eyeballs. So that's the other side, but you can kind of see, it's kind of look cruel, I guess. I don't know. So I love this, this is really cool. I got this from a thrift store. And I, that I dug into a bin full of yucky stuff and I found it. But I love it. It it kind of, would you say that's pink or purple on the back, Emma? Like a fuchsia. It's like a fuchsia. It's like a fuchsia. So, Halloween reversible. So this is the last thing on YouTube today. It is, no, it is $18 and it's number 46. $18, number 46 for the vintage kitty pillow. I've never seen anything like this before. I loved it. I thought it was very cool. 46 goes yeah. to Teresa's Picks. Teresa's Picks, or Teresa's Pick. That's a good, good thing, because ah, so cute. All right, so stay tuned for Instagram and stay tuned for me making announcements of when the schedule is going to be, you know me, I do things at the last minute. That's just kind of the way that things work for me. Um, but we're getting ready to go over on Instagram. So I have 15 more things for you over there. So I will see you in a few minutes. Make sure that you do give the video a thumbs up. Still leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite color is. Yeah. Just let me know what your favorite color is, not in the chat, but in the comments, because the comments, leaving a comment in a video does help the content creator. So I will see you guys in a few minutes over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.